That's a real mature reaction, Nash. Aren't you even going to listen to what I have to say? I have done nothing but listen to you, Banks. Buchanan. Buchanan. How could I forget? Because you will not let anyone in this whole town forget that you're Buchanan, right? <laughs> so this whole new era about good feelings you were talking about, uh, burying the hatchet and whatnot, that was just a load of BS. No, it's just over. See, Jessica and I were willing to bury the hatchet in spite of everything you did and everything you threatened to do. But this, well, that's crossing the line. Well, because I came up with a brilliant idea that's going to make us all rich. I will burn these vines to the ground before I let you sell my vineyard to anyone. And I mean anyone. Never mind my wife's family business. Aren't you being a little short-sighted? The vineyard is a business, and the object of any business is to make as much money as possible. Well, it's never really been about money for Nash. It's about money for everyone, sweetheart. Whoa! She's not your sweetheart. Don't call her that again. I should have known you were lying. Lying? Yes, lying. You remember when you first bought Antonio's shares and came in here as a partner? You said that you understood what this place was about for me and you wanted to work with me on that. I wasn't lying. Oh. You've been in Buchanan for what? Oh, five minutes? And already all you can think about is boosting up that company's stock where you are not going to piss all over my dream. I'm sorry, I thought your dream was to produce wine. With my idea, you're going to be able to produce 5,000 cases a year, not 500. Or maybe we could put it in a box instead of bottling it. It just doesn't get it. You know, I didn't have to come down here and talk to you about this. But I did it because we were supposed to be partners. And instead of sitting down and having a rational conversation, you fly off the handle like some prima donna. Okay. I appreciate the fact that you thought that this was a good idea, but is not something that Nash has ever wanted. He wants this vineyard to stay small, a quality vineyard, something that's going to grow and stay a family business, something that he can pass on to Bree from his side of the family. He is not interested in becoming global or making a big profit. It's about having pride in your work and loving what you do. I can appreciate that. But wouldn't it be selfish to limit that legacy to Bree? My plan would only enlarge it and make Bree part of something incredibly special. Bree is already a part of something incredibly special. The answer is no. Sorry, pal. I don't think this is your decision to make. So it was in the paper. <laughs> As you can see, made the front page with a big picture of the young man. My goodness, he's rather good looking, isn't he? Funny, I didn't make the connection before this. Hmm. You see, apparently... During the reading of Asa's will in Texas, Asa acknowledged that he had sired yet another son with someone, somewhere. And then the DNA proved that it was this Jared Banks. I'm stunned, really, that he never mentioned it to you. Well, no, I had heard about it. Yeah. Yes. Landview has been talking about nothing else because the Buchanans are one of our most prominent families. Nouveau riche. <laughs> so, of course, there's no guarantee of refinement. No kidding. Well, you know, I'm uh, glad that you're doing so well now that mm -hmm. I've seen that. I think it's time for me to head out. Oh, no. You are not going anywhere. Well, I still have to find a hotel. And, you know, I stopped by that oh, Angel Square Hotel, and nobody was behind the desk. But maybe somebody will be there. Oh, no, 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 no. That place is such a dump. We've, we've got the palace. It's owned and operated by Renee, Asa Buchanan's widow. Yeah, well, I drove by that place, and it looked a little expensive. Yes, but now that your friend, Jared, turns out to be a Buchanan... Maybe you can get a nice hefty discount. Well, I don't really like to impose, you know. And that uh, Angel Square Hotel was fine the last time I was... Fine? Absolutely not. Fine is not good enough for the man who came to my rescue. Hmm. No, no, no. I've got my date book in the kitchen. I'll make a few calls. We will network you into the perfect situation. Help yourself to anything that looks good. Hmm. You want your son to be halfway to Mexico? You took home? a shot at my son, Ramsey. If I had a shot at your son, he'd be bleeding. You're after Marcy? No. 
I'm not leaving you here. I'm trying to actually tell you it's okay. It didn't hit anything major. I'm not going to bleed to death. You go now. Listen to me. I'm going to call an ambulance. You stay put. Oh, fine, but you got to get to Marty and Tommy before those two guys do. Hey, John. Hold up a second. Uh, I think I'm the only one with a gun here, so I'm going to decide who goes after my son. Down, slow down. And you have to stay calm. You have to stay calm because you don't want anybody to pull you over again. You don't want to do anything that might hurt Tommy. Daddy was okay. All right? He was okay. I know he was okay because because he said that he was okay and he he understands, you know? He understands that I love you, and he knows that we love him, too. But we had to go. We had to go because those men were going to take you away from me, and I had to protect you. Do you hear me? I had to. And someday you're going to understand. Someday everybody is going to understand.